Hi Libra, welcome to Higher Source Tarot for a tarot reading for all Libra, Sun, Moon, Rising, and Venus. Thank you to all of you for all the support. I appreciate and send you love every day, send you positive energy. And if you're new here, welcome to you. I post new readings every Friday, then again on Monday. So if reading doesn't resonate, come back in a couple of days. You can watch a new reading. Friday's readings are always a general reading. Monday is a different style every week. So if you like tarot and you like the channel, I'd love to invite you to subscribe to Higher Source Tarot. All right, what advice do you have for Libra? Sun, Moon, Rising, and Venus. What does Libra need to know, please? For the best and highest good of all concerned with Libra. Messages for Libra. All right. So we'll start here with the tarot and then we'll have the Angel Answers Oracle cards. You've got the Page of Wands, the Ace of Pentacles. I feel like I haven't seen some of these in a while. The Ten of Cups and the Empress. You've got the Seven of Wands, the Hermit the Two of Wands, and the Knight of Cups. Well, you definitely have a nice reading for love here. Um, I feel like you have abundance showing up, but there's definitely a very loving vibe to this to this reading. You have Virgo here. You have Earth, Taurus, Virgo, Cap. You've got Fire, and you do have uh, Water here, too. And Earth, I guess I, yeah, I did say Earth, didn't I? Yeah, okay. All right, with the Page of Wands, so this brings in a lot of fun. You've got a lot of fun going on with the Empress too here. So watch out for that with the Empress, the Knight of Cups, and the Page of Wands. This is like, you know, it reminds me of the movie The Hangover or something where, you know, you could get yourself into a lot of trouble with these three. But you'll do things that will absolutely have you laughing in this energy. He's still a go-getter. I mean, I, we'll talk about that in a minute because any of the wands are great for career. In a job, this would be fabulous too. But I want to say more about the social because it really is like the kind of energy where you're laughing until your sides hurt. So with this, I feel like you have a really uplifting you know, time ahead. And I don't care what challenges you're having, it comes in. So in terms of the work world, though, this is such an uplifter. It's that, you know, your work bestie, somebody at work or something in work where you really feel inspired or called to do more. It's something where you want to do the right things. You want to give a little bit of extra, but it also helps your career expand and develop. And I feel like in this, too, you may get more um, contacts in terms of people like headhunters or recruiters looking for you. It's not random. It's your energy. They can feel it too. And I know that sounds a little strange. Like, how are they going to feel my energy? They do. And so they know where to look. And it can seem like, well, you just stumbled across this. Well, it's all an energetic connection. So you have great energy throughout the reading for companionship, for, you know, having fun, but also feeling love. You've got a new opportunity showing up with the Ace of Pentacles. So I do feel like it's a great opportunity with the wands that are here to expand in terms of career life, starting anything on your own, even if it's something small, like you're driving Uber or driving Uber Eats or something like that. I do feel like it gives you a little bit of extra money. I still feel like you're going to have a job offer though, something where it just feels like there's a recruiter, especially if you can do something through the computer. If it's like teletherapy or something like that, it feels like it's got a technological underpinning to it. Um, and again, it might be something that you do on the side too, but it ends up leading to more. Now, in terms of relationships, you've got great energy here for love. And this is a long-term commitment. It's long-lasting changes, especially the new friends that I keep seeing coming in. I feel like they're going to be friends for life, anybody meeting new people. It's a card of what you, we sometimes would say luck, but it's really alignment, health and prosperity. It's pentacles are great for money, yes, but they're also about manifesting and they're also about good health. So those of you that if you've been under the weather, this is like a, a beacon of light here showing up and saying, hey, good times are on the way, better times are on the way because there's stability here too. So the speaking of better times on the way, I couldn't have said that any better. I didn't even really mean to set that segue up, but here we go. Into the Ten of Cups, that rainbow is after the storm. You've been through something. And so they say you've made it. They open their arms wide in celebration. 
the happy family. This can be like a wedding or a reunion of types, but it's definitely feeling love. And the tens are absolute perfection. So it's a new cycle that's brilliant and it's full of love. It's like everything around you is illuminated with love. You meet just more uplifting people in this energy. You have better interactions in this energy. And everybody is kind of flexible in this energy where everyone wants to get along. They see harmonious interactions as a priority, as being important. People don't, you know, they're more careful about what they say. They're more thoughtful. They're more intuitive. And it really does feel fabulous. Now, this can be a bit subjective. So especially with the Ace of Pentacles, it can be material too, like, you know, that new car you've always wanted or for some, it even could be a house with the Ace of Pentacles and the Empress being here. So when we start to see the Empress and that Knight of Cups, this is great for any kind of a relationship. It also indicates that your family and friends will like this person. You'll click. It's not that, you know, where you're trying to bring in somebody and it doesn't make any sense. This is the one where they say, my God, this person is great. I absolutely love them. I love your significant other. It's right here. Now, this is great too in terms of those of you that are asking about fertility, here you go. And so this oftentimes is related to the spring. So in terms of timelines here, you may find that it's more April, May-ish um, coming in as I'm just looking at all the cards, not just this one. But the Empress brings in creativity. She's the multiplier of forms and ideas. We know she's ruled by Venus. So in this energy, you have an, a, a vibration that's very inclusive. People feel good being around you. You're, they feel included in the jokes. They feel included in the conversations. And you might even reach out and include people. You know, somebody's awkwardly standing. You're the one that says, hey, and starts including them so that everyone around you feels good and comfortable. And it's not a codependent energy at all. She loves to be in flow with people. She loves it because... That's how we create. And so when we leave people out and start trying to block people, we don't, we block creativity. She also lives in luxury. So be aware of that because this is a card of great abundance. It's wealth. And it's also feeling very relaxed. So you're just easy about things. There's nothing here really. I mean, the Seven of Wands has a little bit of force to it, but there's nothing here where there's worry or anxiety. Very easy going. If problems happen, you're kind of in flow and you say, well, you know, that's just a blip in the radar. That's a minor arcana moment. I'm not going to get hung up on that because you're a major arcana with this. You know, major arcana signify major life events. And this is like that energy where you have a very, in some ways, a very um, unconditional way about you. So you just look for the good. You're here to be in flow, be in positive alignment. With the seven of wands, sevens are about victory and success. So I mentioned you may, might have minor problems here or there. They don't get you down though. You know exactly what to do. And especially too at work, if there's somebody here who's, it makes me start thinking of The Office, you know, the show that's hilarious. But, you know, all those sort of curmudgeonly workers, they've always got some little dig or barb. You may be the one that brings in coffee and you actually make them smile, right? You know, you're you're being like in this high level energy. And so all their little lower level things are kind of insignificant. But with the, the, with the Seven of Wands, it's a good card in terms of career because it has you moving forward. You direct your ideas, you expand in the Seven of Wands. So it's security and alignment, but it's also expansion too. And so you'll feel growth in this energy. And you might also find that people really look up to you in this energy where they see that you're not afraid to think out of the box, to do different things, to take some risks, but not be risky. And with this, I do feel like you're going to attract people, your strength. It's that conquering spirit. So with the Hermit, this is a card of wonderful inner knowledge, that higher wisdom and knowledge coming through you. The Hermetic principle is know thyself. When you know yourself, you know the universe. And so everything's available to you in this energy. The gray in the cards, it always looks so bleak, but it really represents knowledge, that inner wisdom and knowledge. It's a card of great spirituality. So meditate, quiet the mind, take time for yourself, especially because you've got kind of this ramping up of social exchanges and lots of energy around you. And especially if you feel like you're very sensitive to energy, you're going to want this to get back to center and have some solitude because it's not isolation. It really is solitude and tranquility. And so, you know, I guess the paradox of that is when you have this, 
you start attracting more people because they feel that inner calm and peace in you. So it's like, well, you get it back to center and then here they come again. So I do feel like too, if you're a parent with the Empress here, this may be very important and not that kids aren't great and fun, um, but it just makes you a better parent too, to be in this energy. You have a lot more patience. With the Two of Wands, you, you're a visionary. You see lots of opportunities around you, success around you. I mentioned too at work, you may be the one that goes the extra mile and it's going to result in recruitment or growth in some way. You hold the world in your hand in some ways like the Ace of Pentacles showing up. It's very casual. It's like it's effortless but you want a bigger world. So you're going to make the moves to get it. You're kind of strategic in this energy. So there may be things that you're doing, especially at work and having that positive energy, that's going to pay off. I don't feel like it's manipulative at all. It just pays off because people like positive people. And so you may find too that you have, I feel like somebody acknowledges you at work like a boss. It might be slightly embarrassing, like you don't want the attention publicly, but I do feel like you're gonna get it. So just be aware of that. Um, I also think, too, though, in relationships, this is a great card in terms of long-term plans, making a plan for the future, especially if you're looking to have a family. You've got great energy for that. It could be even looking at neighborhoods. And even if it's in kind of the daydreamy energy of the Knight of, Pen or Knight of Cups here, it's still okay because you get that feeling of having it. And that's what the Knight will do for you. The Knights are here to get things done. And this one brings in love. It brings in commitment. But it brings in that fluttery feeling in a, of a loving relationship, of really being attracted and truly having love with your whole heart. And it is reciprocal. Whoever this is, it may be them more than you that really wants this family and white picket fence kind of, you know, 2.5 kids and the dog and the cat and the whole thing. I do feel like somebody really wants that. And it, again, it might be more them than you, um, but I feel like it's going to catch on to you if you haven't already. So let's see what the angels have to say for you. Libra. What does Libra need to know, please? Messages for Libra. Well, you've got no need to worry, okay? I would say not. You've got new beginnings happening here that are beautiful. Well, we said this, meditation brings answers. Improving health. Now, that can be mind, body, spirit. I do get a flash of somebody doing yoga. That may be part of that centering effect. They say, wait, this came out before or two for somebody else. You know, it may be about the timing, like you're just in flow, you're doing the next right thing, and that's how it starts. Because you have a yes, so good things are on the way for you, Libra. I love you, and I'll be back again soon.